percent of graduates have found some kind of full-time work. Hugh Rimmington for 10 News First. And to find out how to get the most from your university experience, head to 10daily.com.au. A mobile phone app has helped save the life of a Perth man who suffered a heart attack in the city. Strangers were alerted to his emergency and gave him vital first aid before paramedics arrived. Um, we found a man collapsed on the street. Um, he's in a very bad way. He's blue. Is he yes. breathing? I don't know. I can't tell. Mark Lee knows he's a lucky man. He owes his life to city strangers and Australian First technology. Internally grateful. Um, I can't say enough. The 58-year-old suffered a heart attack in the CBD. According to doctors, he was dead for about 12 minutes. They looked at me and he said, do you actually die? And I said, I oh, know. Under any other circumstances, I probably wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. As frantic passers-by tried to revive Mark on Murray Street, down on St George's Terrace, Danny Rimakainen was heading into a meeting when his phone went off. Straight away, looked at it, uh, told one of my other supervisors, let's go. It was his St John First Responder app alerting him to the emergency. Thousands of trained volunteers have signed up. The app sounds an alarm, notifying them help is needed until an ambulance arrives. It also has life-saving tips and shows all of the closest defibrillators. Danny used that feature to find one for Mark. Just to get that first early treatment going is, is absolutely vital. This is life-saving technology. Paul Hogg has been a paramedic for two decades. When he arrived at the scene, his patient had been brought back to life, his heart beating by itself again. It just highlights how, how important early effective CPR and early defib, uh, defibrillation is. Mark was rushed to hospital where he was placed in a coma. The speedy response not only saved him, it also prevented any permanent damage. And for that, he's eternally grateful. It's a bit like the people that stopped and helped me. I think it's wonderful. The St John app can be downloaded from the App Store. Chiara Zafino reporting for 10 News First. Of course, it's back. Now, it's only mid-November. <laughs>